are we supposed to really serve? Jesus says, we must not serve like the Gentiles. That the Gentiles, when they serve, according to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 20, from verse 20, he said, when they serve, they serve lording it over their people. Number one, who are you serving? Number two, how are you serving? Serve in love, serve through the anointing, serve because you are ordained to do so, serve with the authority given to you, and serve by grace. Holy Spirit is given for all these reasons. When you want to serve, your life must touch people that you are not an arrogant person. Don't serve in your pride. Don't serve as if, if you are not there, it will be empty. It is grace that puts you there. It is by grace. When you are serving as a Christian, you must have sincere humility that is Jesus you want to serve. Serve people with sincerity and be ready to take their insults. You can't love God without serving. Which means you are meant to serve God by serving your neighbor. And let God be the reason you are serving your neighbor. Stop wanting to get married and serve yourself inside marriage. Stop being in the church and serving yourself, using your time to do what you like. You come late to church, you don't come for evening service, you pick the day you will come. Nobody gets blessed like that. Ordination is for service. The anointing given by the, by the Holy Spirit as well is for service. It's not for show. God has given every person ability to serve somewhere in the church and beyond the church. Be bold to face any evil, any substance that wants to intimidate you in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to serve Jesus Christ, you can serve Jesus Christ in your holiness. When you are serving, there are things you must forbid in the life. You want to succeed? It's not everything that you see you go for. As for me, in case you have made up your mind, you don't want to serve this Jesus Christ. As for me and my household, you can't disturb us. We shall serve the Lord Jesus Christ.